All right, today is the day we're going to be putting this thing in epoxy primer today. Already done a lot of prep work. We scrubbed down the body uh, at least twice. Then we went back through with a uh, homemade wax and grease remover, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then uh, tilted the body, did all of the underwork that needed to be done to it <clears throat> before we epoxy prime, hung all of the other body parts right over the way there. Uh, so as far as I can see, we're ready to go. Um, I didn't do a full on paint booth for the epoxy prime, uh, primarily because I don't think it's necessary. Um, there's gonna be some dust in here, uh, but I cleaned everything, I cleaned the floor, cleaned the walls uh, right around the back side here. I cleaned off all the desk areas. And then I put uh, plastic over everything in the garage uh, that I didn't clean to keep any dust from getting through it. So all the walls have been plastic as well. You know, if you haven't already, we got over 800 subscribers. Please subscribe. Uh, we trying to get over a thousand subscribers before we put it in paint. That leaves us about 193 short of a thousand. Uh, and we'd like to do that before we get it in paint. We're, we're going to try to get it in paint within the next two weeks. Uh, we still have some body work after the prime, and then we're going to paint. I still don't know what color I'm going to paint it. I don't know. I talked about paint colors in a previous episode and um, I made a decision based on what you guys had told me and then I went back on that decision and then I found another color and then I found another color scheme that was actually on the interior of a Bentley um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, I need to order paint we go on our hunt this week and I need to order paint before I go so it'll be here when I get back and I can start getting things ready. So, uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that uh, we are going to epoxy prime today. So, what I have done is uh, let me tell you about my homemade. So I went to buy a wax and grease remover. I went to go buy a wax and grease remover. And it was like $45 a gallon. And so I looked at the ingredients on it and the primary ingredients on the one that I was gonna buy is isopropyl alcohol and xylene. So I thought, well, I'll just go and buy the components. I already have multiple quarts of isopropyl alcohol uh, because we get cut a lot in this family. And then um, xylene, this was only $19 at Home Depot. So, uh, this together, I did a 50-50, 50-50 in a spray bottle. And what I found was versus acetone, which I was going to use acetone. Acetone literally evaporates immediately when you spray it. So it's really hard to wipe anything down. But this xylene and isopropyl alcohol mix uh, will actually stay on the metal for uh, quite a long time. I actually took stickers off of the body with it. Um, and it soaked into the sticker really well and the sticker just peeled off. Uh, whatever you do, do not use oil-based sticker removers like Goo Gone. Uh, we did do a couple of them with Goo Gone. Goo Gone works really well and pulled the sticker off. But then when I went to go clean the body, I noticed that uh, all of the, the water and the uh, TSP that I was using to clean it would shed off of that area. So obviously it put a, a layer of oil on there. Hit it with some uh, xylene and isopropyl alcohol, and like that, it was clean again. Uh, it actually took some of the primer off as well, uh, which helped kind of get to that base I could spray on. <clears throat> so there you go. So now we've got our Eastwood Epoxy A and our Eastwood Epoxy B. This is a one-to-one -one mix, so I'm going to go half and half essentially in this. And uh, I only have a quart. So I think a quart will do this. I'm only going to put one layer on everything. And then I'm going to do my body work over the top of that. And then I'm going to spray another light layer over the areas that I did body work. I've got filters 
uh, for the mix that I got at uh, the Harbor Freight. And I've got my paint ready mask. Got that from Harbor Freight. And I got my mixing cups. And I got these from Eastwood. So we're going to turn this cup to the one to one because this is a one to one ratio. And assuming that my spray gun looking at my spray gun cup, I want to fill it probably about halfway. So I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go, so I'm going to go to the four line, so I'm going to put two parts epoxy and two parts, uh, and two parts of the primer part B uh, to thin it out to reduce it, and that, that's what I'm going to do. One to one. Mix this up. Now we're going to fill up our paint cup.
All right, day two. Uh, I cut it short on day one because of two reasons. Number one, don't use a 1.8 tip with epoxy. Um, my error thinking that it was a primer and we needed to use a 1.8 tip for primer, uh, but epoxy is super thin. Uh, so I sprayed the under part of the truck, as you can see there, with the 1.8 tip and some of the panels right back here with a 1.8 and it caused some runs. It was just too thick, too much uh, volume of material coming out. Switched to the 1.4 tip and it was, uh, it atomized much better. So we've got most of the panels done somewhat. Uh, the other thing is a, uh, a quart of epoxy does not um, complete a Bronco. So I have to order more epoxy today from Eastwood and uh, it will, and then now I'm going on my hunt today. Me and Mandy are going on our hunt and uh, we are getting everything ready. There's the uh, Apache. There's the truck. And we're loaded up and we're headed out. Uh, we're gonna be filming while we're out there. I will only put the good parts in the next uh, episode. And we're gonna finish the priming on the Bronco this coming Saturday. So uh, I will post a, hopefully a completed primed Bronco either on Saturday or Sunday of this coming week. And uh, you'll see whether we are successful or not on our hunt. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we still don't know what color paint we're going to use, um, although I think we're going to order it on the hunt, so we're just going to pick a color and go with it, and uh, that way it will come shortly after the priming is done, and then we can put it in paint either next week or the following week, but it's got to be done by the middle of October, or we are sunk from a heat perspective. Um, so. Uh, Please do me a favor, we are at about 810 subscribers. We want to get to a thousand before we paint. Share this with anybody that you think likes cars and, uh, you know, crazy content. Um, we want to build this, want to build this channel and, and uh, bring you guys some more stuff. By the way, I'm going to end with this, possible Hemi swap. That's a wrap for my point three garage.